Hello, thank you guys so much for joining me again today. My name is Jess. You can find me on Instagram as Knit Plan Jess. And I'm sure you've guessed it, but we are here for a daily plan with me. So we are doing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're still going through the alphabet challenge and we are doing happy life, happy plans, and happy quotes. I also have Mojo Jojo Plans Check It Off book that has seriously become a staple that I, I know that every single time that I go to um, do a spread, I need to just keep that book within reach because nine times out of 10, I am going to need it. All right, so we are doing the 18th through the 20th. Um, I'm a slacker about dating these up, so let's go ahead and do that now. I I think spring is starting. Wait, did I say May? I meant March. <laughs> I meant March. March 18th through the 22nd. Through the 20th. I give up. I quit. I'm done. Okay. Seriously, though. Seriously. I'm pretty sure spring starts the 20th of March, not of May, of March. <laughs> All right, we are gonna pull these off of the discs because I don't plan any other way. I think the only time that I actually plan with my pages still on the discs is, I think the horizontal. And honestly, I've just been doing that as reels instead of, um, YouTube videos so it's it, there's a whole different method to how I record my real my real plan with me's compared to my video plan with me's and I can very easily plan in my horizontal um, which by the way I haven't even been using I'm just literally decorating it which is fine that's that's perfectly fine um, but yeah I have a whole different method from when I do my that you two plan with me's and then when I do my Instagram plan with me's. All right, let's get started. So we have happy life as March 18th. I feel like I need coffee. I have had one cup of coffee today, but I definitely want more. I'm also looking to find, I kind of really want, kind of really want to use this one. I will fill my heart with happy things. And yes, that is, ugh, crap. This is why I like using wax paper. Okay, oh my goodness, that was very nerve wracking. Let me rewrite that out. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by this, this sticker. Um, even if I put it right here, it is gonna take up quite a bit of functional room, but that's okay. We will just continue on. Um, this is this one is like full of really good quotes. So, um, let's use let's use a quote that says, "I have everything I need to achieve my goals," and I also want to find a functional box to pair with it. Or, I really like this one actually. Peace, love, and gratitude. We're just going to put it randomly down there. Um, I could put that right there, but then I need functional. I need lots and lots of functional. At least I know that this one has checklists. So. Um, okay, we're still looking. Uh, 
I am going to go ahead and put down some checklists. I'm going to use this green one and then I'm going to use this pink one because I'm going to kind of draw from the colors up in the quote. And I really let, I love, love these headers. So I am kind of thinking this blue header. Still looking for a functional box. I know that they are in, the, in this sticker book somewhere. All right, maybe this. And I'm trying to decide if I want to bring in like any other colors besides the pink and the green. And we're going to use that one. I honestly really don't. I'm kind of a little unhappy that I chose that quote, but I am not going to remove it now. Um, it's more so that I was seeing if there was like any kind of decorative that I could pair with that. If there's not, then I think I might just leave it. Yeah, because I'm not... I'm not finding like a lot of stickers that I really want to use. All right. Yeah, I think honestly, I, I'm going to leave it just like this. I do want to find something though for that priorities to cover that up. I feel like I need to bring in some color up here and I really like this one that says I believe in me. I like that. All right, let's go ahead. I'm not super in love with it, but it will it will serve my purpose. It'll be functional. I'm good. Let's go ahead and go to March 19th, where we are going to be using the Happy Plans book. So Happy Plans is a sticker book that I have, I have used quite a bit. Um, I don't know if I have any long boxes left. I don't think I do. I have one long box. Let's go ahead and use it. Um, this is actually one that I've seen it come up a couple times in D-Stash and I keep looking at it thinking, should I go ahead and get a second one? And then I tell myself no, because I really don't need duplicates of sticker books, <laughs> but I really, really, really want another one because it is one of my absolute favorite books. Um, I want to make good use of the dots also for this spread. So we are going to do, um, I feel like I'm running out of like the vertical decorative boxes too. The rectangular vertical decorative boxes. I don't even know what they're called. What are they called? I want this one that says, actually I can. This spread might be relatively quick to put together because yeah I just like I'm not gonna do like a super complicated spread I also really don't like these white stickers um, because I feel like there's not any contrast between <laughs> the sticker and the page and sometimes that really bugs me that's just a random thought in my head. Also, I don't know if there's any quotes in this book. <gasps> oh no. That's why I wanted to get an extra one because I don't think that this sticker book 
has any quotes. So let's let's do like a really quick flip through. Um, we have these. I could I could make good use of that. Um, like this one. No, maybe not. Let's keep looking. Yeah, that was exactly why I wanted to get a second sticker book because of the quotes. This one did not have a lot of quotes to begin with. Um, it honestly had more functional stickers than anything. So I'm going to go ahead and white out this circle. Um, just because of the fact that if I put that sticker down, it will it will um, show through and I think it's going to be super distracting. Happy planner for your next daily sheets. Remove that sticker, please. I wouldn't be surprised if like the majority of the people cover it up or white it out in some form or fashion. Um, I was thinking, I think it could be really cute to use this to do and just kind of like layer everything together. And now I have to decide, do I want to use these ones? Do I want to use the gold? I do have a little bit of gold. Um, there's a lot of dots in this book because then we even go to the back and I have more dots. <laughs> uh, let's use, let's go ahead and use up these ones. My tweezers are stuck in this little container. There we go. I am going to use all of these colors and we're going to start with the cream colored. I really like that these colors are like, they're like a very pastel rainbow but the actual book itself doesn't necessarily give me rainbow vibes. So it is Saturday when I'm recording this. I feel like I'm actually Saturday the 12th. I feel like I'm ahead of where I need to be for my videos, which really makes me happy. Um, so today I managed to get um, like a, a plan as I go for a video that actually by the time that this video post, it would have, have already come out. Um, I have recorded a reel. I have two other reels that I think I'm going to try to record tonight. And since my son is currently at a movie, I would love to just go ahead and get another video recorded like there's there's really nothing else that I want to do um I'm gonna use some of these I'm gonna use some of these and I'm just gonna do like a little fun design over here I watched Encanto earlier while I was editing and working a little bit and then I noticed that the new West Side Story is on Disney plus so I want to watch that and I think I'm going to plan on watching that while I am editing videos. I ended up having, because of the fact that it's like five o'clock right now, um, I ended up having an early dinner <laughs> because I was hungry. Okay. It was more like a dinner, So a lunch and a dinner, um, because I didn't eat breakfast until 11 o'clock. So we had... Yeah, we had a really late, really late breakfast. So he went, um, so not long after he left to go with his friend, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and cook myself up dinner now. So that's what I did. And now it's time for coffee and recordings. And yeah, that is how my day is going. I think, okay, I'm calling this one done. I think that this actually turned out kind of cute. Actually, I'm going to use some of these. I keep saying actually. So we want plan. We want 
I could do a prep. Um, we could also, I could do a nap. I thought that there was one that said read. Was there not one that says read? Did I use up all the ones that say create? Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna use one of these ones that say create, even though I really didn't want that gold in there, that's okay. Um, or all, or could prep, I don't like the prep. Let's get rid of the prep. We're gonna use create. Sorry, prep, you're going in the rip pile. I also really wanted to use this reed. I don't like that it's the same color. I have a yellow reed, but I've already used yellow. Hold on, we have a different color. We have this one. I have only finished one book for March. It is March the 12th and I really should be a lot farther ahead. Um, I'm not, I'm trying not to beat myself up too much about it. It's just, I don't know. I think I've spent more time sleeping than what I have reading, like, because night is usually my only time that I read, so yeah. All right, we are done with happy plans. I think it turned out cute. I'm, I'm good with it. I'm going to try to find my scissors, so then that way I can be able to trim off the edge of the stickers. And then we're going to move on to March 20th, which is Sunday. And that is happy quotes. So this is actually the second happy quotes that came out. Um, I like this one. I like the second one better than what I like the third one. The first one. What am I saying? <laughs> I like the first one. I like the second one better than the first one. Mainly because of the fact it is, it's actually a lot more functional. So the original happy quotes is completely 100% quotes. And I'm going to do this. I did this. I did this last time and I really, really liked it. Um, I like that this one is, has a lot of functional stickers. It has a lot of quotes. It has a lot of decorative. Oh, this is cute. This noted right here. I don't know why I never noticed that either. Okay, I kind of want to use this. I think this is so much fun. Do I want, I'm gonna use the one that says don't forget because of the fact that it's orange and I already really have some pink in here. So this way I can bring in some other colors. I don't know why, but I never noticed that some of these you could actually use functionally. Fun. And then let's bring in, I need a quote for up here. I want, then we're going to use this one that says, Remember, mistakes are proof that you're trying. I like that. I think that's really cute. And I also really want to use this one that says, Oh, happy day, even though it's going to cover up. Yeah, let's, let's use that. And those are going to be used very functionally um, because I'm going to put these flags in there. I could do like one thing right here and then bring in a purple flag and put in something else right there. See, I love, love how functional that these, these sheets are. Although what is kind of surprising, at least it's surprising to me, I don't like using the happy planner daily sheets for work. Um, I have learned that for work, I have to have a time block. 
and which is funny because I don't even use the time block like every single day. Um, my heavier meeting days I do, but my lighter meeting days I don't. But I still like to have it as an option. And then I have my to-do and then I have a note section. So I actually use the Moxie Life Daily. It's, the, it's a notepad, it's not a planner, but it's a Moxie Life Daily for my work. I honestly, I feel like it's just, it, it really works the best for me. And I'm really hopeful, whoops. I'm hopeful that number one, that this continues to work for me. And number two, I'm hopeful that next year they are going to um, either offer like a full planner without their goal setting system, or they're going to offer the daily notepad, which is what I use again. Um, cause I would, I would definitely like to use it again next year unless something else better comes along. All right. That is cute. I think I don't know. I just want to use this right here. No real reason. It's just cute. Let's find a header and I don't think that there's checklists in here I want to use another quote and I really I love this cheer up buttercup um, I really don't know like what I would it really doesn't kind of fit the whole theme of the spread so let's use that instead and I don't think that there's any headers. I've used up all of the headers. No. All right. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, ooh, we're going to do the one that says I can do this. That's going to be my, my header. That's me telling myself, it doesn't matter how many tasks that I have to do, I can do it. And then we're going to put my checklist down. I'm going to have this page emptied before I know it. And then just trim this off because obviously I don't want it to overlap over the quote. There we go. I, okay. I think this turned out cute. It is functional. It makes me happy. That is everything that you need in a good a good daily spread so let's go ahead and put these back into the planner i'm messing with like <laughs> knocking into stuff over here so we have march 18th which is friday and we used the happy life then we have march 19th which we use happy plans and then we have March 20th, which we used happy quotes. I think I'm getting close to the end of my happy books, by the way. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like the video and the spreads, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. I am doing much better with actually posting. So you can be able to see these all completely filled in each day. Um, I try to post by the end of the night. Sometimes I don't post it until the next morning if I fall asleep, which tends to happen often. Um, but yeah, so I am trying, I am doing better with actually posting my completed daily spread. So you can check out my Instagram to see the finished spreads and check out my other spreads. And yeah, um, like I said, hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for your support. I hope to see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.